the power we saw today, I'm going to describe it to you. Look here, five, six, should go push, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay, so the first thing we talked about was uh, should I tuck with free turn? The same idea with the tuck, make sure you're opening your arm outside to compress. Make sure to follow weight for the rotation, show first down slot before she can take to do the rotation. Now for the free turn, five, six, here you go, she can push one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now to go about the hand position, remember, my hands in an angle, direction outside or inside. If I do an outside turn, it will be my outside, it will be inside turn. For the bad hand, it's going to be inside, yeah. From here, we do a two hand turn. So we use the same thing we just did for the free turn. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And just stay connected with the right hand. Can you go here? Five, six, here we go. And a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. I remind you to keep the right hand a little bit away so the front doesn't throw out a fragment in time. So from here, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. You see, till four, our right hand do nothing. It's leading by the hand with the left hand like a free turn. Uh, five, six, here we go, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. I show for the intermediate answer, a tap step, and so the triple, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. And for the follow, I show a slight angle with the shoulders, I should turn around. You want to try? Five, six, sugar, push, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, four.